though I'm not her, I'm not going to be able to present this in the way that she would and with her energy, but I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's called Just a Part of the Galaxy. While squatting down to take a piss, I read, Gender is a universe, and we are all stars, scribbled on the wall of a bathroom stall. I was in awe by this that I went home and poured myself a flask, crawled at the top of the roof to ponder what I had read. I stared with amazement at the vastness of constellations, just wondering if God had become an ang angry drunk because of the ignorance and intolerance he sees in us. We like to stereotype, nitpick, criticize, and compare black and white, judge each other because of hairstyles and pants size. I guess that's why every time I go out at night, I always get asked, are you a dude or a dyke? And I always want to say is, this is what I always want to say, oh, uh, hi dude, bro, um, I don't know how about you ask your girlfriend since, oh, he said, I don't know, how about you ask your girlfriend since she was the one I took home last night? <laughs> but I refrain and say, well, I'm a little bit of both and sometimes neither. Give him a hug, then walk away while he stands there intrigued, still trying to figure me out. And I'm not really offended as much, I, as much as I am saddened by how it never occurred to this guy that people's sexual preference doesn't diminish the fact that we are all still human. It's an atrocity to me that we still have to be reminded of this. Did you know that it took nearly 400 years after the first American settlement before the white man recognized black people had souls? And I wonder if it's going to take 400 more before people quit telling me that they think it's cute that I kiss girls. As if my lifestyle was some trendy fashion statement, gay till graduation bullshit curious exhibitionist, exhibitionist. I wish my mom would quit telling me, this is a stage I'm going through, and recognize that this skin her daughter has finally felt comfortable enough in for me to tell her about girlfriends. Cause from second grade till I was a sophomore in college, I camouflaged my feelings because the state of Mississippi has it written that love can only exist between a man and a woman, as if a state had the right to dictate who you choose to spend the rest of your life with. But on nights when I'm sleeping next to someone soft, I can't help but wonder about the ones still struggling in my hometown like Mikey, who had to put a silencer over his heartbeat because it thumped too loud whenever Andrew was in the room. He was afraid that Calvary would condemn him. Or Irene, who used to dye her hair bright blue to distract people from staring in dismay at her and Shay's interlocked fingers. As if homosexuality is a disease instead of just another form of loving. I just hope that when I go out tonight, I won't get, I won't get asked, how do lesbians do it? As if heterosexual missionary position is the only type of sex there is because, let's face it, that would be boring. I think I might just crawl on top of my roof and get drunk with God again so he can hear me when I ask him to keep an eye out on Irene and Mikey or anyone else who is being taught to be ashamed of themselves for their feelings. Because tonight, I don't want to have to explain myself. I'm tired of having to explain myself. I don't want to be distinguished as gay, straight, lesbian, queer, dude, or dyke, just human. Because gender really is a universe and we need to accept that we are all but stars. We are all but mere stars and a part of one great galaxy.